This video will demonstrate the steps taken to create a two-dimensional strip log using the Rockworks 15 software. We'll then use the same strip log design to create a simple cross-section. If you would like to create a strip log based diagram in Rockworks, you should enter your data into the Borehole Manager database. To get started, select the Strip Logs Single Log 2D menu item. In the resulting menu, you should see a list of options on the left side of the screen, a tab displaying instructions on how to use the feature to the right, and a 2D Strip Log Designer tab to the right of that. The Log Designer is composed of three panels. The list of visible items is displayed on the left. As items are checked on, they are displayed in the Layout Preview panel to the right. Column order can be adjusted in the Preview pane by clicking and dragging the columns with your mouse. If an item is selected in the Visible Item panel or clicked on in the Preview panel, options for that item are displayed in the panel below the Layout Preview. In this first step, I'll change the orientation of the strip log title to have a 45 degree angle. I'll also view the properties of the downhole curve and tell the program to plot gamma values. To view the strip log, I'll click on the process button. Now that I have a basic strip log created, I'd like to modify a few things. First, I'd like to add a column containing lithology descriptions to the strip log. Back in the strip log designer, I'll check on the lithology text item. I'll change the width of the text column to 2 and the font size to 0.4. When I click on the process button, the strip log will be updated to include the new column. Finally, I'll change the color scheme used for display in the gamma curve column. In the 2D strip log designer preview pane, I'll click on the curve column so that the curve options are displayed below. Under the Curve Fill options, I'll choose to base the color scheme on a custom color table. To update the strip log, I'll click on the Process button. Now that I'm done designing my log, I'll use it to create a simple cross-section through the Strip Log Multi-Log Section menu item. Notice that my strip log settings are still loaded into the program. I'll select a section line in the Section Location Map window and click on the Process button. The resulting cross section has the same layout as the single strip log previously created. Thanks for watching.